Wait, you had grilled cheeses? I thought you just have squish grapes. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese. That was great. a small <laughs> boob joke for those of you that didn't catch that. <laughs> Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe this dentist would hand out grapes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running with it. Stop laughing. Okay, reverse trick or treat. Dentist takes sweets. From October 24. An Ohio dentist is offering to buy kids trick or treating booty this Halloween, and he's even throwing in a toothbrush to sweeten the deal. Woohoo! The Mansfield News Journal reports that dentist Craig Callan and his associates are offering kids $1 per pound of lollies. Hey, dude, that's crap, Ray. (laughs) With five pounds limit per child. Couldn't you just imagine if it was like, you know, four pounds, 50, or whatever the measurement is, and then you turn around... And mum was there with, like, the chocolate stain around her mouth. And the kid's going, where's the rest of it? Who ate Mm -hmm. my candy? I don't know. Look at me. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know, but I think I have a cavity. (laughs) Uh, The dentists are also holding a drawing for two children's bikes. Mm, so then they can lose their teeth a whole nother way. Anyway, Callan says brushing teeth and visiting dentists are good preventative measures, but doing away with excess sweets would give teeth a healthy boost. Callan says candy can lead to hyperactivity and weight gain and can be especially damaging to children's braces. Which is why mum and dad get into them the moment the kids go to bed. We're doing them Because a their teeth are already messed up. We're doing, a, we're doing a good, people. Come on. It comes from love. <laughs> I'm eating your candy out of love. <laughs> I love your candy. <laughs> I love your candy. I know, I know. <sighs> okay. Oh, next one's for you. Ha <laughs> ha. Goody. Okay, so uh, um, there there is no segue. Oh God, no! I don't want <laughs> no. Uh-huh. <laughs> God, there is there is no segue to this one. Although I guess you could work in there. I may be reaching here, not as bad as Belinda was, <laughs> but I guess if you're going to be a, a crook, you might want to rob this dentist place. But unfortunately, make sure to clean up after yourself. Yes, yeah, so you in every it, way. Make it clean getaway. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike these idiots. Oh, God. I cannot believe this is about to come out of my mouth. <laughs> well, I hope not. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and it just fell out of my mouth. I don't know what happened. Sorry. <laughs> Deep breath, everyone. Deep breath. <sighs> Who does it? Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Crooks leave behind messy clue from <laughs> October 20th. Okay, I can do it. Belinda will stop giggling. <laughs> I'll try. Deep breath, Belinda. Deep breath. That word pops up again. I'm going to lose it. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. From October 20th. <laughs> Swedish cops solved a real poop by tracing two robbers via their excrement. The crooks entered the call of nature. <laughs> Outside a farm close to Vera, central Sweden, before breaking in and tying up the owner, the local reported Wednesday. They made off with 10,000 kronor, kronor something, which is 1,500 in cash, belonging to a... Boy, that sounds like a St. Olaf story, doesn't it? Just a little bit, yeah. (laughs) I'm still hot. But while their pair made sure to torture the vehicle, they fouled up by forgetting to scoop up their poop. 
The sec- detectives soon stumbled across the excrement and were able to extract DNA from it. Oh, I wanna die, blah, blah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Two robbers and an accomplice were eventually traced back to February's raid and arrested. They were charged Tuesday with a variety of offenses. <laughs> I hope one of them was like using property as a public toilet, but okay. Dolan told the oh crap. Naya Lidkopping's Tidnigan newspaper <laughs> police had done a fantastic job in cleaning up the crime. Oh, I did it! Yay! You'd want a bloody double glove, wouldn't ya? Uh-huh. And you got to wonder if one of them sort of made the "Honey, I Shrunk the Kid" joke. You know, is it still warm? And you'd be like, I don't want to know. It's like, well, you know, we we could catch them if it's still warm because they'd be close by. <laughs> and be like, hey, this is rock. <laughs> I'm not touching it. Are you touching it? No, I'm, I'm not, not touching it. Blah. Okay, we're good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wesley Warren Jr. needs one million US for surgery to correct Ready for this? His 45 kilogram scrotum. Wow. That scrotum weighs more than I do. (laughs) Okay, apparently this guy took the whole grow a set to the literal meaning. Yeah, unfortunately it's not his fault though. A Las Vegas man with a medical condition that has caused his scrotum to swell to more than 45 kilograms is trying to raise 1 million US for surgery to correct it. Wesley Warren Jr. went public about his condition, scrotal elephantitis, because he is a uh, because he is desperate to try and raise the cash for the costly operation. Mr. Warren's scrotum is so large that he has trouble walking and using the bathroom. It's not easy to get around, he told Las Vegas Review Journal. It makes me stay in most of the time. The 47-year-old, who developed the rare condition three years ago, said he has regular bouts of depression. I want to have real friends and a relationship with a woman, he told the paper. But I'm not suicidal. I'm too strong for that. Although he knew some people would laugh at his condition, Mr. Warren decided to go on Howard Stern's radio and cable TV show to raise awareness of his plight. I don't like being a freak who would, he said. But I figure that the Stern show is listened to by millions of people and they might want to help me. I hope some millionaires or billionaires will want to help me. His condition is rarely seen outside of the tropical areas of Africa and Asia and is usually caused by a mosquito spread parasitic infection. But Mr. Warren said he had never travelled to tropical areas and believes the condition is down to an accident in 2008 when he caught his testicle with his leg while twisting in bed. Ah. The next day, Mr. Warren said his scrotum had grown to the size of a soccer ball and continued growing. Ow, 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 ow. And ow. So uh, I did the conversion. That's 99 pounds. Holy dooly. That's like a oh small my child. God. Th- that That's like a oh. you. Yeah. In my pants. <laughs> <laughs> cheesecake, 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 cheesecake. <laughs> that wasn't exactly where, where I meant for it to go, but, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Not on air, Belinda. (sighs) (laughs) Next. Sorry. (laughs) (coughs) Oh, God. This sounds like something that most men in the world would do. Mm Mm-hmm. Because, you know, the number one cause of death among men is child toys. Yeah. <laughs> John, do not take inspiration from this, whatever you do. Nah. Because I will leave you there. 
I love you. Man spends night stuck in kid's wing after bet with, quote, friends from October 24th. People are smart. We see just how smart they are every day on nearly any given YouTube video. <laughs> I think that was sarcasm. I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> Me neither. Today's genius is a 21-year-old man who made a bet with friends for $100 that involved lubing himself up with laundry detergent and sliding into a child's swing at Blue Rock Springs Park in Vallejo, reports the Times-Herald. The groundskeeper of the park arrived to work Saturday morning where he and police discovered the man screaming and stuck in the swing, where he'd been for about nine hours. Oh. <laughs> Evidently, his friends took off and left him there. Nice friends. Mm. Vallejo firefighters were called <laughs> in to rescue the man and use cast cutters to free him. No word on whether the man collected on the bet. Oh, I would have <laughs> given it to him. 